Okay, hey everybody, this is Zach Rosen from The New Gay. Uh, we apologize in advance for all the background noise. That you hear downstairs is the band Anna Horse. But luckily we're upstairs with uh, Khaki King. Hello. <laughs> Khaki was nice enough to give us a little bit of her time, uh, which is awesome. So Khaki, I'll just start off this way, and you're probably sick of answering questions kind of along this tilt, but I've noticed that when people write about you, uh, you have many qualifiers. Sure. If you're in kind of... Yeah, let's go to them. <laughs> What are Short, they? Short, female, lesbian, fisherman, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They I really just... emphasize like, the short thing I get more than anything, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Who cares about your height? I don't know. You know, it was, it was, everyone cares about my height for some reason. And, and for some reason, like, uh, I just went to see an opera. And it was, uh, they were they were writing up uh, the bios of each of the performers, and it was, uh, the, the, the dark queen or the black queen from the magic flute and um, she was a great singer but she was very short and they had to mention that in her little bio like, what is that about that's funny maybe the short press should be interviewing you more often like yeah fuck the queer press fuck queer press right. well but, i didn't you know, know about the th new shorty right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i didn't know about the short thing i was gonna say if i read about you in like rolling stone it usually oh this this is a woman who can play guitar so well then obviously in the queer press um usually for our own benefit, we mentioned the fact that you're a lesbian. Just, do you mind always being qualified, one way or another? Oh, I mean, it's, I've seen it happen to everyone. Everyone gets, it's, it, there's nothing uh, unique about my situation. Everyone, and I like to call it the chicken McNugget. It's like, press people can only do so much, because their minds are so all over the place, or they're lazy, or both. And so they sort of condense you into the chicken McNugget version of who you are. So my chicken McNugget is I'm short and I'm a female that plays guitar. Okay. Sometimes I'm gay. Right. Not always. <laughs> right, like I'm looking over your songs, it's like the girl I left betrayed. It's clearly this is like uh, an unhappy, what would I would think to be an unhappy woman on woman relationship. And it's funny to be that Rolling Stone would seize on the fact that you're just happen to be a guitar playing woman versus all that. So yes, but again, you know, it's like, well, if we can either, you know, delve into what she's talking about, or the music she's written, or the, the, you know, the things that she's been through, or we can just say, oh, she's a chick who plays guitar. <laughs> which is easier. Do you think which there's ever... takes up less copy. Right. Which has the hotter photos with it. Do you think there ever will be a time, at least in the mainstream media, that um, they can just like casually mention the fact that you're a lesbian chick who they plays guitar? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah, cool. And I can move on from all those questions. The second one, I'm sure you've even asked this before, is, is who is this girl that's at the center of your album, Junior? So uh, whoever it is, it doesn't seem to be you're very happy with her. It's complicated. Okay. Do you ever talk about it? No. Okay. <laughs> well, besides saying who she is, I mean, is it a recent thing? Is it like an amalgamation of different characters? Or is it just at the heart of this one actual person you've written an album about? I wrote one song about a person. Okay. It's just one song. I get where the whole concept of this entire album. I wrote one song about the situation. Okay. Yeah. The rest of the album's not about her at all. Ah, oh, well, I guess in my point of view, it bled through. I'm 0 for 2 with Khaki King. Yeah. Okay, then how about this? If you could be, um, if you could interview yourself and just have an interview full of questions you'd want to answer, what would they be? Um, it would be a lot about food, a lot about, um, uh, learning different languages, a lot about, um, playing drums and listening to New Order when you were 15 and yeah. Let's talk about listening to New Order when you're 15. Huh? Let's talk about listening to New Order when you were 15. Because everyone had some New Order fans. I actually, like, I, my, my dad gave me a tape. It was actually much younger than that. I was about nine, and we had just seen Roxette. And it was... So amazing. you'd seen Roxette live? Yeah. What was that like? Really fucking great. It was really cool. Um, and it was like the first... Oh, I can't remember if it was their first American appearance of the year, or the first American appearance ever, or some weird thing. It was like a big deal. And my dad took me to this amphitheater, and then he was like, you know what, that stuff's pretty cool, but I got something I want you to hear. I think you're old enough. And so he put on this tape that on one side had no order, and the other side had erasure. And I listened to this tape over and over and over and over, and it kind of just blew my little mind. If you could talk about food, what would you talk about? about bacon. I was at home, and my uncle came over. I was at, at, at my house, we just had a little break on tour, and, um, and I hadn't had gluten. Crispy, good bacon in a really long time. We're gonna alienate all the lesbians. It's always vegetarian. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Um, but 
Well, I'm Jewish, so bacon for me is the. Fr I, I'm not kosher, but bacon is the Jewish forbidden fruit. Like, right, it's true. If you ask a Jew what they like, they'll say bacon. Cause they're just right, yeah. Raised against oh, yeah? it. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Baconator. Is that is bacon also lesbian forbidden fruit? I didn't know that one. I think meat in general. There's okay. So many lesbians that are vegetarians, and like a lot of times I'll meet people that aren't. I'm like, oh, you're, you're not a vegetarian. They're like, no. <laughs> Hell no. See, gay men are the opposite. They're like, you're a vegetarian. You are terrible. I want to eat a burger, drink a martini well, just, with it. You guys want to be more butch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we try. I mean, you can only look so butch if you're still wearing a big ass amber crappy t shirt. And, uh, and there's weird things on the back pocket of your jeans. But <laughs> eating the burger is a start. You know, I'll give it to them. Oh, we're all, such, we're all just one big stereotype. Oh, I know. It's terrible. I know. What? I'm not going to do poppers until after the interview. We oh, do that. well, thanks for, thanks for, you know. Being chill right now. <laughs> what else? I'll let you steer this interview. I'm having more, I'm having more fun with having the, more fun you steer the interview anyway. Talking about meat and poppers. <laughs> um, Thursday night in Washington, D.C. Yeah, I was, is it Thursday already? Oh, yeah. When does Bob Mould do his dance party here? That was last Saturday and it's happening again on June 12th, I think. I like him. He's fun. That's cool. Bob Mould's one of our few local gay celebrities that isn't yeah. government related. Which is nice. I mean, he's also gay by choice. Like he didn't get caught coming out of a bathroom right. somewhere, right, which we also appreciate. Oh, those! Ugh. I love people passing legislation and then going behind the alley to butt fuck. It's great. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lesbian equivalent of that though. I feel like there's very few closeted women scandals. I think we have a run on that. Yeah, you definitely have the run on it. Well, it's just that I don't know. Are there? There must. There must be some. It must, I mean, what's up with Condoleezza Rice? Like, what's, what's that about? Does she go with dudes? <laughs> I think that's called the glass closet. Is it? In the parlance, yeah. But I mean, is she, is she gay or is she just doing her own thing or is she just not interested? I mean, I think she's gay, personally. I think she's gay. Yeah, it's the kind of thing where, like, what do you have to hide besides the fact that you're very powerful? Besides the size of fact that you were in the Republican Party and that you worked for George Bush and that, you know, you probably showed up at a lot of churches and a lot of things and... <laughs> Anyway, that was Fish a Yeah. Did you ever have trouble coming out? Were you ever, uh, were you on the other side of the closet ever? Not really. Um, I, uh, I mean, I definitely did the whole, oh, I don't know, it's confusing, because I'm supposed to be liking guys, and, like, I had great, com you know, great male company. I th it's funny, I think that lesbians have that, um, that they, they waver a little bit longer. Like, gay men, you generally are like, uh, you know. Right, well, women get, you know, if a guy kisses a guy when he's six, that guy is gay until he's dead. But I feel like women get a little more flexibility, culturally. Like, no Sometimes. one's going to, yeah. Yeah. Like, the party lesbian phenomenon. Oh, that, yeah. If I had more time, oh, I'd all against. Oh, yeah, le uh, lesbots. Right. Yeah. <laughs> is that, like, the that's, temporary? That's the, that's the word for a straight girl pretending to be a lesbian for, for kicks. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. Apparently, I never knew that word. <laughs> this 40 year old mom told me that that's what it meant. Have you ever encountered one? Oh, yeah! Whew, <laughs> all the time. Do they try to, like, seduce you after shows? Um, I don't actually get, like, I get a lot of young, sort of weird girls coming up to me after shows being like, can you sign this thing? My things? Yeah, my things. No, I don't get a lot of, uh, I don't get a lot of, of sex out of touring. I probably could, you know. <laughs> okay. I that's so smart or interesting in any way. All right. Uh, that's probably a pretty good place to end this. We're also going to keep <laughs> having this really wandering conversation. Any any final things you want to say to all your queer fans out there? Hey, queer fans. Thanks for being supportive and nice. Oh, well, you're welcome, showing up and, oh, I'm going now. <laughs> Thanks for showing up and dancing. We dance at the shows now, so all the gay boys get down. It's really fun. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much. You're welcome.